All right, Google Picasa is going away. Google has ended support for it. Not totally surprisingly, they haven't updated it for a while. So now uh, I'm getting a lot of questions on what do we do for slideshows, those types of elements on our website. So I wanted to create a short little video to go over um, what I recommend, and that is to use Rock Gallery. It's a built-in component uh, that's in the system, and we'll be able to introduce that into any article that's on our site. From a high-level perspective, it works like this. Uh, we create a new gallery in this Rock Gallery um, component. We're going to upload pictures to it, um, so we can do a drag and drop into there. And then we're going to tag them or add them to a gallery. Once we have them in there, we're going to create a module that displays it in a particular format that we like. So it could be a grid of pictures, could be a slideshow. We can even configure how many seconds it is between um, when the pictures rotate. And then finally, we'll take that module and we're going to place it into an article. So that way you can have one slideshow in an article or even several different slideshows broken into different groups. So it's a pretty flexible tool that way. All right, we'll start off by going to our control panel which is, um, this is a sample um, website uh, that we're currently working on. And I'm going to um, tell you go, to go into an, a menu item underneath components. It's one of the menu items there at the top called Rock Gallery. If I click there, it's going to bring me to this screen. Now this screen is blank. There's not any items in here because I haven't added any new pictures or galleries. So there's not anything in here. Um, once you start getting pictures rolling in here, then obviously you'll see see more items in here. To start the process off, we're going to click on Galleries. It's the third button from the right. That will open up a little pop-up window. And this is where we're going to create a new one. So we're going to give it a name, say Sample Gallery. And we also need to give it a tag. Typically, um, I name them the same thing. So Sample Gallery, Sample Gallery. And then hit Save. All right, now we got a place to put things. Next up, we click on the Upload button, the big blue button there on the right-hand side. And we need to drag and drop, or you can click Browse as far as uh, adding pictures to this. I have a few pictures here already, so I'm just going to select them, and I'm going to drag them in there. Okay, once they've been, uh, they're all setting in there nicely, we'll go ahead and click on Upload. And that will... Put them up into the system, it'll process them, make them the right sizes, all of those kinds of picture gallery type of things. So it imports them in, resizes them. All right, so in the end, we'll go ahead and hit close here, and we've got a set of pictures then that we can put into a gallery. Next up, we're going to click and drag over all the pictures that we want to add to our new gallery. Again, there might be other pictures here, you're not going to. Um, we started with a blank template, so there's not anything else here. But So we'll select the five pictures that we uploaded and click on the Tag button. That will have this little pop-up show up. And this is where we're going to select the gallery that we had created from before. So it, we named it Sample Gallery. So here we are. And we'll click on Apply. All right, now those are all added to our gallery. And we can move on to the next step. Go ahead and go back to the control panel. And for this next item, we need to, to go to the module manager. And for some folks, I place that in the administration administrators area. You can get to it there. Or if you don't have that button, it's on also underneath extensions and it's called module manager. When I'm in here, I'm going to create a new module. So there's a big uh, button right there with a the big plus sign. It'll have a pop-up window. There's lots of different types of modules. In this case, we're going to select the Rock Gallery module. So click there. And we need to specify a few items here. First of all, the title. So this will be what people will see as the title of these particular set of pictures. So I'm just going to name it the same thing as my gallery. So sample uh, gallery. Next up, I need to tell it where to pull from. So which gallery am I going to display? So I'll hit select here on the right hand side and select sample gallery, which is the one I just created and uploaded pictures to and hit save. Now, some options you might want to pay attention to would be the link type. Um, typically, I just leave that as none. 
Um, or if you wanted to zoom in, if you're in like a slideshow, you can se select this rock box to um, probably full image. So we'll give that a test. Um, you can show the title, you can show the caption, which is something you can dig down into the details as far as when you're uploading new pictures, if you want to include those things. Um, and then the gallery layout will, um, it will be how your pictures are displayed. So you want a big grid, do you want a slideshow? Uh, for the most part, I think most people want to select slideshow. And then um, other options you might want to play around with would be the autoplay. So say you want that enabled and you want it to, you know, to rotate every three seconds. Okay, so let's go, um, let's just start there. Before we go too far on the module, one thing we do need to record and know is the module ID number. So I'm going to, instead of hitting save and close here like I normally would, I'm going to hit save and it's going to keep me on this page and it's going to let me know what the ID number is here, which is right underneath the note field that says ID um, 105. So I'm going to record that because I'm going to need it here in just a second. I'll go ahead and close or save and close either one. And then I'm going to create a new article in that um, we're going to put it on the history page just because I know what that'll be. And I'll say, you know, this uh, is my uh, news story. All right. So in here, I'm going to put in the module. And this is a, a little, little trick of the system. You can place any module into an article if you use this syntax. So basically the square brackets, I'm going to put those in there. Okay, see what those look like. And then um, module dash and then the ID number. So uh, module dash 105 surrounded by the, the brackets. Now you can put other content in here, uh, text below uh, or, or above or, or whatever you want to do there. But wherever that text is that that special those special words uh, the brackets with module dash and then the id number is where that that gallery is going to appear so i'll hit go ahead and hit save and when i go back to um, the public view of the website that we're working on here i'm going to see this is my news story and here's the gallery okay and we can see th and the default option gives you this little um um, I don't know, wheel of pictures down here that we can switch between them. And that's one way to get between them. And we see it has the title displayed. It's the name of the picture. So if we want to tweak that a little bit, we might want to go back to the module manager. And here's my sample gallery. And we want to change those options. So we might want to hide the title, right? We might want to um, make it the navigation type. That's those thumbnails down at the bottom, that wheel of pictures. So we'll hit none, and this might be something you're a little bit more uh, accustomed to as far as a slideshow. So there we go, We've got no captions, no wheel, and they can click to change between them. And they should be uh, changing about every three seconds on their own if nobody clicks anything. So there they go. Um, other things to take a look at, maybe you want to do the grid layout and uh, say you want to have uh, three columns. So this might be if, uh, and actually let's go ahead and show the title for these as well. Now I do that, now we're going to see three columns and we're going to see the, the picture titles. If we click on them, it'll enlarge them in this nice little light box, which is pretty cool, um, and give you the full image. So anyway. That gives you some options. There's other things I didn't talk about in there, but that at least will get you to um, a picture gallery. Feel free to play around. If you have questions, please let us know. We'd be glad to help you, um, you know, migrate through this change um, now that Google is, is moving those over. So a good opportunity to re review your picture galleries and, and get some new stuff up there. All right. Take care and God bless.